Hey guys, how's it going? I'm here in my very small little $7 hotel room here on Cochang Island near the uh, little beach uh, called Lonely Beach or Hat Ta Nam and uh, the little village that is right near the beach. It's a really sweet little spot. Just posted a video, uh, um, you know, giving a little tour of the beach and the town and the um, nightlife. And so I just thought that I would give a, give a quick little uh, tour here of the room and kind of explain, uh, you know, what's offered here and what you can get for $7. So I booked this little room on uh, booking.com and at first I was actually confused because booking.com has kind of a weird thing in which they show uh, the total price for all of the uh, dates that you have requested. So if you say, I want a um, room for three nights, then it shows the total price. And so at first I, I saw $28 because I had requested a four night stay. And that was the cheapest thing coming up. And I was like, dang it, you'd think there'd be something cheaper than that. And then I realized, oh, that's for four nights. That's a good deal. Um, so this is the cheapest thing, you know, around that I could find. I mean, probably there's something even cheaper, but uh, especially for a room that is, um, you know, a private room, not a dorm, uh, that is not a bungalow with a thatched roof and, uh, you know, kind of the funky style, which can be awesome and fun and, you know, that's great. I've stayed in plenty of those little bungalow things. Uh, but it is nice to have a proper room that is, you know, actually mostly sealed off from the bugs. It doesn't have a screen here, as you can see, uh, but then you can close that up you know, at night, and uh, then that more or less keeps the bugs out. Um, and then, so it has the uh, private bathroom here. Now, this is kind of where there's a few issues with the room, which is that notice the lack of a sink. And so there's a mosquito flying around there because they can also come in through the fan there, so it's not completely bug proof. So there's no sink. There is a sink outside that is like the uh, communal uh, toilets and uh, sink for the restaurant and then I guess you know obviously the people staying in the, the hostel here because the um, I don't think that they're actually bunk beds they call it a hostel it's sleepy owl hostel um, I'm not aware of there actually being um, dorm rooms here but anyways um, there's a series of, uh, of rooms along here and then uh, the restaurant is out on the street um, and so this is just kind of back from the street, which is good because uh, it's not right on the street, so it's quieter. Uh, and so then the uh, bathroom is very basic, uh, lacking a sink, which is rather a bit of a quandary. Basically, it means to brush my teeth and to shave, then uh, I have to use the shower and just let the shower nozzle drip down and then like put my toothbrush in there. I could go to that other sink. Um, but, you know, while I have a private bathroom, that's kind of the point, is you don't want to walk outside and go to an outside sink there. So, um, you know, I'm just working with it. And I'd rather just pay $7 rather than um, pay 20 bucks for, you know, a sink and, you know, a little more room and maybe a bed that's up off the ground or whatever. Um, I'm happy to uh, uh, get the super cheap price, especially if it's a livable place. So, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's a nice vibe, it's clean, um, it's cozy, it's quiet, uh, it's not perfect. Uh, but other than that, um, the other little issue, and it's a common thing in Asia, uh, all over Asia, is that instead of having a separate shower, uh, you know, stall, then the water you know, falls right on the bathroom floor, and then you have a wet bathroom floor you gotta deal with one way or another. Um, and so what I've been doing is uh, wiping it off with my sarong. I just took a shower, and it's already getting close to dry. Uh, so you can just wipe it off with a sarong, and then, um, you know, or extra towel or whatever, so that you then have a dry floor there. And then it has free Wi-Fi, which, uh, just barely kind of sort of sometimes works. It's like the line of the Wi-Fi is like right here and so it kind of phases in and out. Literally if you just open the door and then go out on the uh, front patio, and then I'll go ahead and show show that as well, then the Wi-Fi works perfectly fine right here. Um, and then the uh, restaurant is through there and the Wi-Fi works great there. And then here's some of the other rooms. 
And then the sink I was talking about is around the corner over here. And then also notice that it is a uh, single bed. And so that's one of the reasons that it is so cheap uh, because it is just for one person. Uh, I did have you know, a room about the same price in Bangkok and in Chiang Mai. However, the islands tend to be more expensive. So this really is a pretty darn good deal um, and about the cheapest thing you're liable to find other than you know, a hammock on the beach or uh, you know, maybe a, a dorm bed you know, depending on where you are, etc. But anyway, that is uh, what you can get for $7 on Koh Chang Island, Thailand. Take it easy.